What's happening, guys? It's TJ. You know, Georgia fans, I remember when Herschel Walker pulled that little move he pulled over the summer, right? And I remember thinking that, you know, it must be horrible to be a Georgia fan right now if you're African-American and having to watch this guy over the years and, you know, supported this guy and, and remember him running over people and, you know, just all of the joy that Herschel Walker represented. It must really... It must really feel like an act of betrayal to watch him get on television like this and basically, you know, sell out his whole entire race and ancestors for Donald Trump. But I wish you would have told me how painful it was. You know, I really, I wish you would have said, T, this hurts. <laughs> Because now I know what that betrayal feels like. I know what it feels like, you know, to support somebody and then have that person just, yeah, just stab, 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 stab. I know what that shit feel like. Because this shit with Ed Orgeron cut me deep. I, like, like, one night I was up. You know how you go down these rabbit holes on YouTube and the next thing you know, you're watching some shit and you're like, how in the hell did I get here? You know, but one night I'm up I'm watching YouTube and I went down a rabbit hole and there's open heart surgery. And this video showed everything. It showed them cutting the dude. It showed them putting that bracket in and pop, and pop it went over the chest plate. And I'm like, well, damn, that's really graphic to be on YouTube. Like, y'all kicked me off and y'all got to do his whole chest cracked open. That got to hurt. <laughs> and that's what it feels like, man. It feels like, you know, chest crack wide open. Bow! But sports has a way of doing that to African-American men. Sports have a way of convincing African-American men that all of these white people, all of these white people, are and over, all of that cheering is for you. And they'll begin to think that it's for you. Remember OJ said, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Remember that shit? And so they reminded him that, you know, Las Vegas, nah, you black. They begin to think that the cheering and the crowds and all of this and the autographs, that they've transcended race. Listen, black athlete, you haven't transcended race. They're not cheering for you. They're cheering for the uniform. And whatever nostalgic point you take them to in their lives, whether that was a national championship or whatever. That's what they're cheering for. And so when you begin to figure that or you, or you find yourself in this dilemma where I got to take this position because I got a lot of supporters who are white and I don't want to lose these supporters or I need to get some more white supporters. So I'm going to go pull a Candace Owens and go to the furthest side of the right shit I can in order to get more white support listen to me you will get herpes in the mouth kissing that much ass you're still going to be at the end of the day black okay and I shouldn't have to say this shit but obviously your mama haven't said it so the Herschel Walkers of the world and all of these guys, man, and the Charles Barkleys and the Shaquille O'Neal's and all that shit, you're still black. Okay, nobody has told you. You can kiss their ass, but you're still black. And if you don't believe me, then fuck up real bad. And watch how fast they will turn on your ass. Watch. I'm going to bring it up again. Remember what they did to Ron Matthews? He went from honey badger to all kinds of N-words in seconds right there in Baton Rouge right on NOLA.com I, sa I, I saved all I saved all the threads instantly they would turn on your ass instantly so I just want to say that and to the Georgia fans bro, hey I know how it feels now <laughs> okay I know what that sting of betrayal feels like and my situation with Ed Ogeron is, is a little bit different from yours with Herschel Walker because I love Herschel Walker too. And I remember watching him on television, right, during the Trump convention. Ex Bro, what the fuck are you doing? 
What what are you doing? And I, I you know, I just rolled it off. I said, well, maybe this shit is CTE. Maybe he crashed his head into people so many times that he really do think they love him. And for the most part, they do. They really love him now. As as they have always loved those African Americans that identify with their cause. White supremacy has always lifted up and found those individuals who they can point to the other black people and say, look, see, this one gets it. This is a good one right here. He gets it. Why don't you get it like this one get it? You don't realize that that individual done sold his soul. He done, he done, you know, it disgraced himself. And, and we don't, it, they may lift him up, but we look at him as, you know, bro, how you allowed yourself to be used like that by somebody who doesn't give a shit about you at all. Because when the police drag you out the car, right, and white cops choke your ass to death with their knee, it's going to be us who come together and voice the outrage. Because the white people are going to look at the same video and say, that black ass nigga deserved it. But, hey, I'm not marching for Herschel Walker. Fuck that. He on his own. I just want to send some love to Georgia and say, I know how it feels now. It's your boy TJ. Alice, your dad.